This is an update of the building progress on my Thomas Powell model. I first produced detailed drawings based on two known pictures. Unlike the real boat, which was built from wood, my model is made of metal with wooden veneer. It's just about seven feet long. The Swan of the Hudson, as she was called, was operated by Captain Anderson a few years before he launched the very famous Mary Powell in 1861. The hog frame system strengthened the wooden shallow draft hull. Iron tie rods passing up from the guards over pole masts took the load off the boilers and wheels. Quite a number of different knees were used beneath the garage. Although unusual today, vertical rudder pulleys were then quite common. Windows and clear stories are all made independently out of very thin glass. Quite challenging not to break them while cutting. This walking beam engine can be seen in detail in a separate video. My dear friend William Muller, maritime historian and artist, painted Powell's homestead for my starboard lunette. He's been painting amazing scenes of steamboats on the Hudson River for over 65 years. He also painted this eagle, shield and flags for the port side. He was a pilot on the famous Alexander Hamilton steamboat, so we can be sure he's living and breathing what he's painting. Thank you so much Bill for this fine work. I'm very proud to have these on my model. And this video is dedicated to you. Pressure relief valves and steam piping. Still have to cut the recessed ornaments that will go in the fan. Still no stairs to the pilot house. Wooden lifeboats in progress. And that's about it for now. <laughs>